National Population Commission, NPC, or your state office, has reiterated the need to end all forms of discrimination against women and promote equal rights for the girl child. NPC Federal Commissioner in the state, Dr. Eyitayo Oyetunji, made the call at a media interactive session organized by NPC or your state office in commemoration of World Population Day 2023 in Ibadan. The news agency of Nigerian NAN reports that July 11 is designated annually by the United Nations under the guidance of the United Nations Fund for Population as a day to draw attention to issues of population and development. The 2023 theme is Unleashing the Power of Gender Equality, Uplifting the Voices of Women and Girls to Unlock Our World's Infinite Possibilities. The theme for this year's World Population Day is a clarion call for us not to relent but to redouble our collective effort to continue to give the plight of women and girls a boost that will guarantee that they are not left behind in our new world of 8 billion. The essence of this thing is that while we are increasing, no one should be left behind, especially women and girls. They are about half of the population. And if they are not carried along, given their full potential, to be realized, the benefits of a population of 8 billion will have been a waste. Also speaking, the Zonal Director NPC, Ms. Abdul Karim Bellu, said that women and girls represent almost half of the entire population but remain the most vulnerable group, often neglected across communities and societies. It is on record that with a projected population of 260 million, which ranked the nation as the sixth most populated in the world. And women and girls represent about 48.7% most vulnerable group, often neglected across our communities and societies, deserves our utmost attention as stakeholders. And as we commemorate the 2023 Population Day, the observed theme should be a reminder to all of us gathered here to assert a proactive action that will facilitate the sustainable creation and opportunities that will empower women and girls for a secure future. In his submission, a gender consultant, Dr. Stella Akinso, called for collective efforts from women groups, lawmakers and other stakeholders to ensure the success of the gender bill, which passed second reading at the Senate. We cannot attain sustainable development with half of the population. It's not possible. So we need to, everybody needs to be carried along. And we, what we're saying is no one should be left behind. And in gender equality, equity is more important than equality. Commenting, the Zonal Manager, News Agency of Nigeria Ibadan Zonal Office, Mr. Olawale Alabi, urged women not to relent, but rise to the task to take their rightful position. I think that... Women should grab what they want. You see, in Nigeria, nobody will give you anything free. You have to fight for it. Because it is not even enough for we, the men. So why would we not leave it for, for you, for the women there? Also, the assistant director news, Nigerian Television Authority, Mrs. Ade Alao, said that the campaign to end all forms of discrimination against women and girls should be taken to vulnerable women at the grassroots. The women in the grassroots are suffering. Thank God we are learning. At the grassroots, a lot of girls don't go to school. Their mothers don't understand all these things we are talking about. Those are the grassroots. Let's talk to the traditional rulers. Let's talk to the religious leaders. Even from school, let the mothers or the parents at grassroots know that their children can be something. Nan reports that the interactive section featured questions and answers on gender issues, cultural presentation, and decorations of some 2023 population ambassadors, among others.